Welcome to Christ Centered Gamer's video game review of King Arthur the Complete Collection. In this video, I am pretty close to the end of the original campaign, and the, the Complete Collection offers a Druid ex expansion and a uh, Saxons campaign as well. Now, the main campaign, uh, you are King Arthur, and you are uh, trying to conquer uh, Britannia. As you can see, I pretty much own it all here. And, it will, you know, the colors would tell you which ones are enemies, mistrustful, friendly. Um, but, it, you know, you start conquering, you know, a town at a time. And all you do to conquer a town is take your, you know, one of your yes, units and walk over a town. And if there's somebody there, you got to fight them. Otherwise, uh, it's yours until somebody else, another person walks over it and reclaims it. As you can hear, the music is very, very pretty. Uh, graphics, um, this, this game came out in 2009, so, you know, a little, little bit dated, but they're very good. Um, there's two, uh, actually, there's a, this game falls into a lot of uh, genres. As you can see here, from this perspective, it's kind of like a strategy. Um, you, just, you know, you choose which way you want to move, and uh, it's turn-based. If you click on this... Um, uh, hourglass here it'll change seasons so you get these blue bars that's how many I guess movement points I have and um, so I can only go so far I can't go across the world in one leap or one season it's kinda um, and the winter season nobody moves everybody's you know hovering in their tents and uh, you use that season to kinda do upgrades for your strongholds um, the strongholds allow you to do um, various uh, upgrades and uh, research to give you benefits. It'll, this is what unlocks new units. Uh, units play a big role. Uh, in order to get units you need gold and you need food which I have actually, I will admit, I have hacked those amounts. Um, there's cheat codes too you can use for various things as well. I just prefer to use cheat engine. Um, but uh, Okay, so there's various units, so let me just click on one of my units here. Um, this 57% means he's the 50... Out of all the armies, he's... That's his ranking in there. He's not my strongest. Um, but uh, he's got some Saxon riders. I got some swordsmen, yeomen, crossbowmen, deep wood archers, heavy pikemen, break shield elite. Uh, a lot of different uh, characters there. So... Let's say, uh, let's, so, so here's the strategy part. It's role playing because there's different, um, kind of quests that will appear. Sometimes, um, there'll be kind of like famines in the land. You go there and you can get, offer them bread and, or, well, sorry, food and gold to, to help sustain them through the tra hard time. But sometimes you get people who challenge you. And, uh, there's various, uh, quests here. And, um, as you can see, I've done some, you know, a lot of these already. And you have decisions to make, and there's different, um, there's, you have Christianity and you have Pagan, which is the old religion. So you have to choose where, what faith you're going to defend, and the decisions you make will make you, you know, either rightful or a tyrant. Um, and units have their own sets of abilities and magic you can use in battle. Now, battle has two different, uh, flavors, so this part is turned turn-based but when it comes to battle it's it's real-time or you can just cop out and let the computer decide it for you so here's um, a wooded area and uh, so yeah here's where my stronger guys are okay so I'm gonna take my surveillance and uh, so being King Arthur I have my my round table of 12 knights and I gave him some fiefs to keep him loyal um, women are kind of like property. I don't have any women here. They got, I gave them all, I pawned them off, all off as brides. But you can trade, trade women in bartering or make them, you know, marry them to your knights to, to keep them loyal. So, alright, so I'm just going to take this guy here and attack. So it just shows that I have an 87% army. This person's got 46. So, um, I'll just do like a battle here. Usually you can change the uh, 
ch or choose the uh, battle location and battling has two forms of winning typically there's um, victory locations where the army that holds all of them or most of them wins or just by annihilating uh, your your enemy's forces it does like a little camera overview flyby to let you know where things are going and uh, where what they look like where they're at you hit escape to cancel out of it any time, but, you know, again, this is the part where I'm, I'm not too impressed with the graphics here, but, you know, it's, it's, it's passable. Oh, okay, got a little bit of a... So, yeah, there's a lot of different kinds of religion here. There's obviously violence. Um, I didn't notice any swearing. Um... And, you know, most of these knights are honorable, and, you know, marriage is important, and, and so forth. But, you know, I do have an option. One of the dialogues, it, it did let me uh, sleep with somebody that turned out to be a witch. So, it's good to wait in this game. So, alright. So, I can start. You can kind of zoom in and see a lot of detail. Uh, I can see branches. There's my giants. Those are cool. So yeah, archers, and, and like these units, we're all stuck in a forest here, and, and horses and stuff are not as good on the the, the forest and, and so forth. So I'm just going to take some of my armies and... Alright, fine, let's go. Let's try to select all them. Oh yeah, you can totally speed things up too. So I'm just going to try to get them out of that forest. Oh, looks like there's some people there. Let's just attack them and call it a day. And there's different kind of abilities I can use here. Oh, Nightfall. I could do a Whirlwind on them. As you can see here, their army is dwindling. I mean, we're... We're slaughtering them. It's take a little while. They're tough. But I guess we can try to zoom in and see the action, but oh yeah, they're they're going though. They're falling. And and we won. So yeah, if you don't like to do this long drawn out stuff, you can have the computer do it for you, but sometimes you can do better on your own. I lost 115 soldiers. Wow, those are tough. Those are tough beings. Um, so yeah, these different areas on the map, they can do different things. You go to towns to recruit to replenish your troops. Other um, areas in the town will kind of like slowly restore your troops for you. Um, other areas will give you more research points to do upgrades and, and, you know, look into other magic and soldier types to get. So there's, there's a lot here, but this game, I mean, it's extremely difficult and there's a lot of artifacts will give you other, other things as well. So, I mean, there's a lot to it. Uh, certainly not easy, even though it has multiple difficulty levels. I mean, you can get whooped big time. But, but very fun. I just like the, the merging of the different genres, you know, turn-based real-time strategy and, you know, role-playing elements a lot. So if you like any of those kind of games, you know, this one uh, would be worth considering. Uh, the game sells for about $30 uh, for the complete pack, so I don't know how much it is by itself, but uh, it, it, very fun. <laughs> but I, I, I cheated, and I think that helps me enjoy it more, so... I hope you found this video review helpful. Thank you for watching.